Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make explosive burial in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, today is the 10th tutorial of my side scrolling tutorial. You can see if I go close and fire, I will lose my blood. If I go closer and I fire, I'll die. So let's start. Please uh, subscribe my channel for more tutorial like this. So please uh, check the link in description and download the asset file. I give Canon Explosive Burial 3D Mesh and also the texture of it. I have uh, many more things here, animation and other stuff. Please download that. So now open your project and create a actor blueprint and name it BP Explosive uh, Barrel. By the way, please watch my previous tutorial for understand this more betterly. You will find the playlist in the description. Please check that. Now open the explosive burial we just create now. Here we need to create few things. First of all, I will add a static mesh. I will name it barrel. I will uh, add the static mesh barrel. Here is my mesh. I download that and import it. Please you download and import. We can also add the red material which I created in previous tutorial. Now add uh, both coalition. Uh, give it uh, 70 value on uh, location Z axis. Now duplicate it and create a bots coalition again. Name it damage bots one. Now duplicate it, duplicate it, damage box 3, uh, compile and save. Now we should add few uh, value here, select the bots and give the bots extend value 40, 40 and 40. Mm, we need to change the value 50. Uh, give it little liter and make it 70 mm, it's too high make it 60 i think it's fine perfect now select the damage bots one and uh, give the bots extend value to 220 y axis should be 230 and z axis should be 320 hmm that's fine now select damage bots just copy it damage bots one and paste the same value we just change the x axis value it's previously 220 now it's 320 uh, same thing we will do with uh, damage box 3 and it should be 420 compile and save now BP, add uh, bp health component which we created uh, previously now add a few more uh, variable I will create four boolean variable. First one is explosion. Uh, add another one in range one. Duplicate it in range two. Uh, duplicate it. Uh, control D. It should be in range three. Compile and save. Now we need to add few uh, function in event graph. Uh, get player character and test to our side scholar character add it with the uh, begin play now create a variable i just name it player easy peasy compile and save now we need to create few custom event we need the event tick uh, add a custom event mm, name it uh, damage one duplicate it and name it uh, damage 2 and then duplicate it uh, it should be damage 3 now we add a few function here 
compile and save add a sequence and make it 3 damage 1 damage 2 and damage 3 we are done we add three of that now i just add a function here the damage function damage one we need to uh, boolean variable uh, in range one and explosion add a branch b and uh, mouse left button add boolean and boolean add do once because we want it only play once because event is always check uh, add a player variable and get bb health it's from our character now from here get health uh, minus it subtract 100 now add set health add the value here now from here uh, set death and tick it now we need to uh, copy few of the function and add it with the damage too now i'm just going to do that i just uh, copy few function ctrl c and ctrl v um, i think here it is oh, fine it suited well now add it with uh, damage 2 and just change it to range 2 that's all now i need to change the value it should be 20 minus 20 now add in uh, ctrl v because you already copied it add it here change the range 1 to range 3 and change the value to uh, minus 30 I think we are done here uh, compile and save now add few function in uh, bots collision uh, uncomponent billion overlap we need to add a sequence because we need to add two uh, blueprint here now search uh, test to bullet where it is bull now we should uh, add to rifle rifle projectile maybe yes rifle projectile if we go to our settings uh, we can see uh, here is the rifle and here is rifle projectile yes we need that add it and search another one crash to ninja blade here is the ninja blade add it now we need to create a, a custom event it should be lose health because we will add a lose health function here name it lose health lose health uh, now add lose health here and ninja blade projectile yes it's done compile and save now we need to add few function in lose health we'll add uh, if uh, we take uh, bullet we will lose health and explosion now add a uh, function called apply damage and the value damage value should be 35 and damage actor should be self now get the bp health and get health if it's uh, zero or less than zero less equal uh, make it straight add a branch add with uh, the function 
Now add the function will do once because we want to play it once, only once. Now add the explosion variable as a set and it should be true. Now we need to find a function called get at location because we want an explosion in that location. Now add a spawn emitter at location. The emitter should be explosion and the scale should be 10, 10 and 10. Add it here. Uh, play a sound at location. The sound should be explosion Q. And it should be volume multiplier 5. Location, add it with the location. Add burial. Add set visibility. And add set pollution enable. It should be no pollution. Now add a delay, it should be 0.1 second. Now add few box collision. Select all and get it here. Make, make it li li little closer. If it's little closer, it would uh, show, I mean, it will look like nice. Now add set collision enable and it should be no collision. Absolutely zero, zero collision. Now we should add a delay, it should be 5 seconds and after that, uh, destroy the actor. Compile and save. Now both collision, uh, add function event will be then overlap, end overlap, be then overlap, end overlap, both collision 2 and both uh, damage, both 3 should be be then overlap and end overlap. Now we need to add a variable here in range 1, in range 2 and in range 3. Add in range 1 with the bots uh, collision 1 and it should be uh, true on vision overlap and false on end overlap. We will do it in all of them. Just control C, control V, add it. Control C, control V and add it. Now change it uh, to damage box 3 should be range 3, damage box 2 should be range 2. Uh, we are done. Now compile and save. Save all. Uh, we need to make it uh, false hidden in them because we want to see it. Now here we must add our uh, character, side scholar character, uh, test to side scholar character, add with it all, all, add all bots in double lab and within double lab, control C, control V and add it, just add it, we don't need anything add further more, just this and we are done. Now make it little further. Uh, match it, yes. Now copy, control C and control V and add it. Control C and control V, just add it. Add, 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 add and add. Add it. Compile and save. We are almost done. Save all. Now just to duplicate the round. We wanna make it a little bigger. Place our uh, explosion burial and change the rotation. Place it here. And we need to uh, place it, uh, x axis should be 0 because our character run that uh, position. Now if you play alt R and P and if we shoot 
after three shot it would be destroy and it will destroy the whole coalition after five second that is what we wanted now select it go closer with it if we shot here we just lose 30 percent that's what we wanted now if we uh, go to the middle and if we shoot it should be 50 percent and if we go closer and shoot it should be 100 percent will die so that's it for today's tutorial bye bye everybody hope to see you again